Welcome to today's class. It is time to move and activate your life. This workout will improve cardiovascular fitness. We're going to build total body strength and we're going to enhance healthy movement for everyday living. We will be using the step bench, various dumbbells, and or a body bar or barbell if you have it, and we're going to be using our own body weight. In today's class, we're going to be focusing on low impact cardio and pushing, pulling, and rotational movements. These are movements for everyday life that we need. We need to be able to push, we need to be able to pull, and we need to be able to do rotational movements so we can enhance our overall health movement. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Each move in today's class is 60 seconds. Go as fast or as slow as your body is telling you to go. You will have 10 seconds where I will preview and set up the next exercise. So that is how today's workout will go. 60 seconds of work, 10 seconds of active recovery, and we're setting up for the next exercise. Again, always listen to your body, go at your pace, Focus on proper form, technique, and accuracy, and lift the appropriate weight for you. Now we're gonna do a two knee and a walk down. Two knee looks like this, and a walk down. Are you ready? Let's go, two knee walk down. I'm gonna get it, we're gonna go from the beginning. You're gonna leave when you need to. I record these videos, and I also do them live. So I'm talking to both of you. Two knees, 60 seconds of work, 10 seconds active recovery means you're moving your body. Two knees and a walk right. Let's go again, here we go. Whole foot on the bench, whole foot off. Looking good. Now I'm using two risers today. Feel free to use whatever you want. Your workout right here. Ooh. One more. Now you know I preview that next exercise. While you're marching, let me preview. Two knees on the left and march left to right. Two knees on the left. March it left to right. All right, come with me, here we go. Two knees on the left, and a march. Woo! Yeah. We're gonna really get our body movement healthy in today's class. Woo! We're gonna work on cardiovascular endurance, overall, total body strength, and mobility in today's class. Let's go. Looking good. Woo! You are so blessed. You can move your body, right? We're in this together. Moving our bodies together. Now you can take it up. Higher intensity or stay low impact. Woo! Let me show you the next exercise, ham curl. Next exercise, right here. Come with me. Kick your heel to your butt. Arms back. Just a traditional ham curl. Warming up that back side of your body. Woo, yeah, yeah. Happy, beautiful August, everyone. Yeah? Beautiful. We are so blessed. We get to see the month of August, and we get to work out together. Yeah, yeah. Whew, doesn't this feel so beautiful just to move that body? Oh, such a blessing. We are so gifted with our body. 
and march. Let me demonstrate the next exercise. Crouch, march, march, march. Crouch, march, march, march. It's like a crouch, pick up something. Come with me, pick up something and then march. Pick up something and march. Pick it up and march. So we call this a crouch. Do you need this for everyday living? Absolutely. Yeah? How often are we trying to reach for something on a low counter or on the ground, right? Woo! Sixty seconds of work, ten seconds of active recovery where you're marching while I'm showing you the next exercise. Woo! All right, you march while I show you that next exercise. Next exercise. So it's the left lead leg crouch and a march. Left lead leg, come with me right now. Crouch, march. So pick up that object off your step bench. Pick it up and then march. Pick it up, whoo, working it. We're mimicking moves of everyday living for movement health, yeah? I recommend you do this workout once or twice a week. Woo! You're gonna notice a huge overall difference in your body when you're just doing everyday activities. Woo! In everyday living, we push, we pull, we walk, we hip hinge, we squat, and we do rotational movements. Our body's meant to do that, right? Yeah! All right. You're marching while I show you the next exercise. Does this look familiar? Inside and turn. Let me show you again while you're marching. Ready, let's go. Beautiful turn. Let's put our left hand on that left hip. Shoulders melted away from our ears. Yeah? Woo! Touch. Touch. Oh, did I tell you? This is a movement health exercise, working mobility right here. Feel that rotation? Remember I said we're gonna push, we're gonna pull, and we're gonna work rotation and mobility? Well, here you go. Woo! Yeah. Touch it inside of the knee and rotate around. All right, march as you watch me. Next exercise, other side. Right hand on that right hip. Yeah. Let's go. Right here. Left hand touches the inside of that right knee. Shoulders are melted away from your ears. Push it through. Yeah. Keep it going. 60 seconds each move. You can do it. Don't you love the mobility and through that upper body? And as you rotate, open up. Come on. It's a side lunge into an open backward reach. You're gonna march it right to left while I show you the next move. You're gonna march it up, march it down. So right here, you can jog it up, jog it down. Come with me. Right here, whole foot on the bench, whole foot off. 
Don't let those heels dangle. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. So I have two risers on today because I really want to work it. Yeah, right here. So it's like going up steps. Do you have steps? Do you go up curbs? Yes, you do. So we're mimicking going up steps. You can add a third riser to make this workout even more challenging. You can put on your weighted vest or weighted hand gloves to add that challenge. There are many ways to amp up this workout or to ramp it down. You're gonna just march. Next exercise, you guys are marching. Left lead. You guys are marching on the ground. I'm showing you that next exercise. Are you ready? Come with me right now. Left foot on the bench, left foot down. I want those shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. Can you do that? Woo! Whole foot on the bench, whole foot off the bench. Looking good. Beats per minute are 135 beats per minute. So it's a good safe pace for us to be using that step bench. Yeah, but really make sure that entire foot comes on the bench, entire foot off. Got it? Whoo! Looking good, you guys. You know, in those 10 seconds I give you, you're just watching me and marching. March, watch me. Touch the ground and lift. Touch, you guys are marching and lift. I'm demonstrating the next exercise. Come with me right now. Woo! So we're working on that right here, straight up. Feel that rib cage expand. We're working on shoulder mobility. Don't take your arms behind your ears. We are also working hip mobility. I'm asking that hip to hit the lateral, lateral movement range. As your arms come over your head, we're working that shoulder mobility. Yeah? Don't you like to know why you're doing what you're doing? I told you, movement health is the key in today's workout. Yeah, we're gonna burn those calories. Oh, absolutely. Whoo! Right here. And you're gonna march. Let me show you the next exercise while you're marching. Marching, you're heel tapping, whatever. I love to preview so you can see what I'm doing. Let's go, come with me right now. Let's go. There we go. To the beat. <laughs> Down. Whoo. Straight up. Don't let those arms go behind your ears. That's going to put too much tension on that rotator cuff. Hip health right here. Lateral lunge. And then an overhead straight arm press for that shoulder mobility right here. You got it. Woo! Keep it going. One more. All right, you're gonna march it right to left. Next exercise, three knees and a tap down. Three knees and a tap down while you're marching. Let me show you. Come with me. Three knees right, tap down. Really working that quad. You feel that quad? Right there in that right side engage. Give me runner arms. Really working those glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Right here. So right foot on 
and a right foot off. Breathe it through. Whew. Come on, push it through. Again. Whew. You feel a little bite in that right leg? Just breathe it through. Go to your intensity, your timing, your pace. My pace may look different than your pace. You're gonna march on the ground. I'm showing you that next exercise. Yeah, you got it on that left lead. You guys are marching. Come with me right now. Time to come with me. Come with me. You're on that left lead. Woo! Are you dripping that sweat? Try to get those arms involved. Runner arms or hands can be on your hips. Your call. Let's go. Push. Keep it going. Woo! We're in our cardio fitness realm right now. I'm starting us off working mobility and our cardio fitness before we get into the push-pull. You already noticed? I got us into rotation already. Let's go. One more. You're gonna march as you watch me preview. I'm gonna touch, rotate back, touch. And down, let me show you again. You're moving, touch, rotate back, touching up. Come with me right now. Touch, rotate back, touch the bench, step down. Touch, rotate, touch, and down. Woo! Feel that in the hips. Working that rotational movement. Body needs to move in all realms, right? Woo! Again, your timing. As you get tired, it's your timing. You got 60 seconds. Go as fast or as slow as your body is telling you to go. Feel that right hip. Rotate back, you guys. You're gonna march while I preview the next exercise. Left foot on, rotate back over your right shoulder, and down, let me preview again. Touch, rotate your hip to the back room. Touch and off, come with me. Your timing, 60 seconds. As fast or as slow as your beautiful body wants to go, no specific timing. Looking beautiful, guys. One side, you may feel a little more balanced, challenged with the rotation. That's okay. You can really feel this opening up everywhere. All right, I'm gonna show you the next exercise. March it, basic right up, basic left. Basic right and a tap, basic left, come with me. Basic right tap, basic left tap. You can jog it up, your call. Whoo, looking good, you guys. Come on. Are y'all about ready to get in? Whoo, to pulling. We're gonna push pull for the last part of class. So you're gonna need your weights by your side. 
you may want to put that bench, or sorry, that mat on your bench. So our next exercise will be with the weights. It will be a back row. So just think about what weight you want for the back row as I'm gonna be demonstrating it. All right, 10 seconds. You're picking up a weight. Let me show you that back row right here. I got 17s on each side, 60 seconds, let's go. Working on that pulling action right here. Sit back in your heels. You can have those weights in your hands. Shoulders melt away from your ears. Sit back in your heels. Feet hip width apart. 60 seconds of work. This is movement health because you pull in everyday moves. Come up to your belly button, top of your knee, elbows back. Just take your time, you sit it up. It's your 60 seconds or push. All right. We're gonna do a wide row. I'm grabbing my tent. Woo! We're gonna row wide. It's like you're holding a bar and you're gonna row wide. Up, down. So I got a body bar. I have all my equipment. So our hands are wide. This is a wide row. Straight back, right here. So I got all my equipment right by my side. We're pulling still. Belly button, sit back in your heels. A wide row. Hands are more than shoulder width apart. Let me show you from behind, wide. So those elbows are leading you up and leading you down. Squeezing a lemon in between your shoulder blades. You are still in the pulling action phase of this workout. I want you to pull that bar back or pull the weights back. Working your back, you need it for movement of everyday living. All right, next exercise, one or two weights. I'm gonna grab a 15, I'm gonna lay on my mat. We're gonna go overhead press and we're gonna come up. We're gonna pull right here, let's go. Pull it. Your timing, guys, don't stick to the beat. Pulling action right here. We're still on that back. You gotta have a strong back for movements of everyday living. Our back does so much for us every day. So pull over your head and forward. So as that weight or that bar comes up, pull it up. Visualize you're grabbing a rope and you're pulling it to the ceiling. Feel all those muscles in your back engage right here. You got it. Woo, I want you to come on up for me. I want you to take the mat off. You're gonna watch me, a glute grabber. We're gonna lift that left leg right here. It is a glute grabber and let's go. So sit back in that right heel. Let that glute of that left glute grab. It is a glute grabber. You need strong glutes Whew, for movements of everyday living as well. Hands can be on your hips. You can counterbalance with your hands here. Or you may just want to visualize you're doing a tricep kickback right here. Go as fast or as slow as you want on this glute grabber. Let's go. Again, 
Again, your timing. 60 seconds of work, 10 seconds, active recovery. You pick and choose how hard, how light your body wants to go. Active recovery while I show glute grabber on that right side. Are you ready? Come with me right now. Woo! Kicking that right heel up to the ceiling, sitting back in that left heel. Push it through. I know you're feeling those glutes grab. I know it, because I am. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. You're gonna be sore tomorrow. Breathe it through. You can take a break. If it's too many repetitions, take that break. It's all about listening to your body all the time. So you're just lifting the heel up and down. Really grabbing through the glute. All right, next exercise, triangle chest press. I'm gonna grab my 15s. Triangle chest press. Take your arms up in a triangle. Press up in a triangle and down. Let's go. We are now all in that pushing phase. Right now, we are in that pushing phase. So we were pulling and now we're pushing. So those weights come up. These are called triangle press ups. Elbows don't go below the shoulders. I got those 15s in my hands. Woo, we're focusing on chest now. Going down, lifting up, your timing. So you're just taking those weights together. It's like a triangle. You're making that triangle position. Elbows don't drop below your shoulders. You got it. All right, you guys get a little break while I show the next exercise. Chest press, single arm, chest press. Are you ready? Let's go, we're gonna continue that pushing action. Dropping it down. Let's go. Don't let the elbows drop below that shoulder line. I got those 15s in my hands. So you have 60 seconds, your timing. Now I want you to focus on that pushing action. Let's go ahead, let's push. Got it? Woo! Working that chest right here. We push in a lot of movements for everyday living. You gotta have a strong chest and a strong back. Remember, today's workout is about movement health. These movements I do will help you for every move you do in everyday living. All right, next exercise is a fly. Looks like this, I'm on my 12. We have palms facing each other, out to the side and in. Let's go. Chest, ah, fly. Out and in. Let's go. Pushing it out in. Remember, if you have the heavier weights, go slower. Focus on your form and your technique. Right here, it's a chest fly. Shoulders set down and away from your ears. Soft bend in the elbow. Woo! Coming down and coming up. See why I like all those various weights right by my side so I can very easily not waste my time and just pick and choose what workout or what weight I need for me. All right. We are going to be doing 
push-ups. Watch me, hands on the edge of my bench. Push-up. Their tricep push-ups. Let's go. 60 seconds, you guys. We're pushing away. Let's go. Woo! Let's keep going. I'm just looking at what exercises I still have left. Your timing, I know we're working. Such a great metabolic burn. So we pulled, we pushed, we worked on cardio fitness. We've been working on mobility this class. We're getting it all in. Push it through. All right, great job today. Uh, let's take it wide. Just pick a side and go to it. Five minutes to cool down and stretch. Sometimes you feel mighty, but sometimes you feel locked in. Locked in. Sometimes you see people wear a big smile and wonder how to adopt it. How to adopt it. But sometimes you recognize your blessings. Five minutes to get a beautiful cool down and stretch. So Other side. Listen up. People consider crazy something that is way out of the league. So they speak about it like it's foolish to even think you could achieve Something you dream, something you see But something that no one ever would seem A real deal, but you know and feel that that's a real And center Alright, let's take it up, right foot on that left heel, press through that left hip, up and over. Mobility right here. Come on down, take that left foot in front of that right ankle. You're gonna press through that right leg, left hand comes up and over. All right, come to a side, top leg straight, top arm over. Other side. Come on to all fours, knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. Cat cow stretch, spinal mobility and health. Your timing. Take one leg forward, hip mobility, arms raise. Take it back, back leg forward. Hands lift and raise. Really feel that stretch through the front of the hip. Hip health. Working on hip health. Sit it back. Come on your knees, kneeling. Side reach. Other side. Come back on your toes. Rock back on your heels. Straight leg. 
grab through your ankle, your elbows, and just hang. Or interlace your fingers, chest expansion, take it up. Stretching out your calf, hamstring, and glute. If you're with me in the chest expansion, release your hands. Just grab those elbows and hang. Put a soft bend in your knee and look over the left shoulder. Rotation. Spinal mobility health. Look over your other shoulder. And again, look over your shoulder. And look over your other shoulder. So heel in. Shoulder rolls back. Beautiful class today. Deep breath in. And exhale one more time and we're all done. We got a 60, we got a workout in. Big inhale. Angie, Angie Fitness TV. Thank you for working out with me. Today was all about cardio fitness, overall total body strength, and movement health. Until next time, guys. Bye.